what is up everyone and welcome back to my channel excuse the fact that i look like this yet again obviously we just came out of hospital yesterday after seven nights in hospital with Freelan. <laughs> this dog is missing me having you baby you miss me <laughs> um and i've had zero sleep at all oh and any sleep that i have had I just felt rubbish afterwards anyway, so yeah, I do look a bit rough. I'm sorry about that. We've had Graylin back for a night now. He's just in the, the Moses basket next to me. He, of course, screamed the house down last night, which was expected. And he woke up twice for his feed and change. Although there wasn't much to change. I'm expecting a bit more because he is still on a free hourly feed. So we we'll still need to kind of get the jaundice or whatever jaundice is remaining in him. Uh, flushed out so cute so cute um we are still doing the free hourly feeds but he hasn't had, really had that much of a dirty nappy so we'll keep an eye on that the midwife is due to come around today she'll i'm guessing she'll give us a call before coming around because i would kind of like to have the house a little bit tidier <laughs> i've only been back a night and uh the house is an absolute pigsty so in the midst of yesterday, I must have forgotten to take my background insulin because my blood sugars this morning were in the 20s, which is not good at all. It's really high. And uh, I definitely felt it this morning. I thought it was just because I was kind of like, I had quite a few hours sleep last night and I kind of thought that was the reason why I was feeling a bit more groggy this morning. But actually it, it will have been because my blood sugars are sky high. So I've taken some insulin for that, just waiting for that to kick in. Got a big bag of goodies to take this morning, all my pills. And then I am going to go sterilise all of the things that need sterilising for his feed because <laughs> we didn't get a chance to do that, seeing as though we got rushed in. Uh, totally unprepared. So that's what I need to do this morning is just sterilise all of his little teats. The teats, thankfully, we got them from the hospital because we have two bottles <laughs> so i need to order some more bottles but thankfully these um teats that we're using with the, the abdomen formula if i gave them a sterilize at least i can use them for a few more times until we we'll get some bottles sorted i have a breast pump that i need to sterilize we got that um at the weekend which i'm actually excited to try because i was expressing milk in the hospital we are still going to try breastfeeding but i think until i've kind of settled in i just want to make sure i can get some kind of express milk sorted for him and top up with formula and then once the jaundice is gone or once he's you know he's doing a bit better then we won't need to stick to these free hourly feeds and we'll just go off his feeding cues which i can tell he does kind of when he's wanting something to eat so at least i kind of know when we need to feed him so yeah, I'm going to have my coffee, have my tablets and then get going with the cleaning and I'm going to do some sterilising of the, the bottles. He's just chilling in his mosey basket. He's so content at the moment. This was knitted by my manager at work. How freaking adorable is that? How gorgeous is that? I love it. And then this one here every midwife at the hospital loved this um blanket it's the one from asda hello cheeky chops hello cheeky chops um and it's still in stock i bought another one well darren bought another one still in stock eight pound from asda hey baby <laughs> so before i do any sterilizing i have just moved this over here it was in that corner with all the alcoholic beverages on but I'm just moving it over here for easy access for his food, bottles, sterilising stuff at the moment. We'll probably get something similar to this to put elsewhere in the kitchen. Probably in that corner once the pram stuff's moved. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we'll keep it there for easy access for our food, formula, sterilising stuff, easy access to the bins. Yeah. So this is all the stuff I want to sterilise in the Tommy Dippy cold and microwave steriliser. So we've got loads of teats from the hospital. There was two teats that Graylin tried. It was this one, 
and UK nook. Teats, and there was another one, it was a white one, which you didn't particularly like, so I've collected the nook ones, the NUK ones. These are the bottles that I've been expressing into, which I'm gonna try and fill up as many as possible and keep them in the fridge, freezer, however they need to be stored. They're just the lids for them. Got a few syringes just to be able to draw up the expressed milk. Got the dummies that <laughs> I still haven't managed to sterilize with the Tevas so they can go in. The two bottles that I want to use going forward, the anti-colic bottles. That one's for up to one month. That one's one month plus. Got my Hacker-esque breast pump. This is the Lansinor one. There we go, breast milk collector. I did take that to the hospital with me, but I didn't get a chance to try it because I did get put on the hospital pump, which was the electric pump. And following that, I decided to buy this pump. It had decent reviews, so I'm gonna give it a go. So we'll try that, but I wanna give that a sterilize as well. And this one obviously comes off a little teeth as well, which will need sterilizing. So I'm gonna give them all a wash and then whap them in there and decide whether to do it as a cold wash, which will need the Milton tablets, or whether I'm gonna bung them into the microwave.
<laughs> okay, no, no, okay, dread. Ah, ah. I'm glad I was trying to run. He's still going. That's all we want. Tell them. Oh, boy. Still looking ever so glamorous, first time mum, bags under my eyes, hair everywhere, Darren's t-shirt on, what can I say? <laughs> I've just finished expressing, it's gone 7 o'clock now so I have just 
try to get a little bit ahead. I want them to have some form of express milk at every feed, but because he's having free hourly feeds at the moment, it's quite hard to just maintain that. You know, it's very convenient to just give them some formula, but really the formula is just a top up for us. I mean, I'm not getting too much express milk at the moment, but the idea is we'll get enough express milk for that to be his feed. But at the moment, because he needs regular feeds, I'm having to top up with formula as well. So I am trying to get ahead of the game. We have established a bit of a nighttime routine. So I have said I will do the last feed of the night whilst we're still doing free hourly feeds, which will be about 11 o'clock, 11.30 at night. Darren will do the 2 p.m. to, uh, sorry, the 2 a.m. to 30 a.m night shift <laughs> night shift night feed and then i'll do the 5 a.m 6 a.m uh, feed in the morning and that's just because darren thinks it'll work better for him if he's going to work which he'll be going back to work in a week's time he thinks if he did the 5 a.m feed it's too late outside for him to get back to sleep if he wants to get back to sleep so he said he'll do the the 2 a.m feed which i'm happy with that <laughs> The midwife has been today. She came along at about three o'clock. Uh, it was a little bit manic. We had Darren's mum here and our nephew Arthur come along. Darren's mum met Graylin for the first time today, which was lovely. Yeah, the midwife came and she was happy with everything. I discussed the jaundice with her because obviously he is still looking a little bit jaundiced at the moment. So I asked about his dirty nappies because having free hourly feeds, he should be flushing out all the jaundice, but he hasn't really had any like proper big dirty nappies since coming out of hospital. And I was just a bit concerned that he was going to start getting bunged up or he was having all these feeds and the jaundice was kind of like staying inside because it wasn't getting flushed out of them, if that makes any sense. But she's not concerned. She says that's quite typical for newborns to uh, not fill the nappies like quite so much. So she's not concerned about that. We're just going to keep on going with it and we will soon see some changes in his dirty nappies fairly soon. I'm going to try and give him a bath later on. He's got crusty eyes at the moment and he's got a bit of a dirty back end. I just kind of get the dirt off his back end at the moment. So I'm going to try and get him in the shower, in the bath. Two girls. Doggies. Doggies. There we go. Hello. Gonna grab some tea now. I'm gonna make a Hello Fresh, which Darren politely pointed out that uh, the ingredients are <laughs> that the ingredients are older than Graylin now. So we should really get those ingredients chopped up and put into the Hello Fresh meal. That's the update for the day, and I'm gonna just put the rest of the express milk into the bottle, into the fridge in preparation for the feeds tonight and hopefully in the morning as well. Hey, little Chunky. I'm gonna check your nappy. Come on.
نیستن آهلا آهلا <laughs> What's that like? What's that like? What's that like?